And the battery's low. Of course it is. <sighs> Actually. Well, we still have a live jam ready to go. Anyway, at the Potter's house. Probably because I spent so much time talking. Oh, man. Anyway, this is what the word of the... This is the word of the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house. I saw him working at the wheel, but the po pot he was shaping from the clay was married in his hands marred in his hands so the potter formed it into a it into another pot shaping it as seemed best to him <coughs> then then the word of the lord came to me he said can i not do with you Israel, as this potter does, declares the Lord, like clay in the hand of a potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. <clears throat> if at any time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be uprooted or tor uprooted, torn down or destroyed, and if that nation I wanted responds no, I warned, repents of evil, <clears throat> then I will repent, relent and not afflict on it the disaster I had planned. <clears throat> and if at another time uh, I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be built up pl and planted, and if it does evil in my sight and does not obey me, then I will reconsider the good I had intended for consider doing consider to do for it now therefore say to the people of Judah and Jeru and those living in Jerusalem this is what the Lord says look I am preparing a disaster for you and devastating and devising a plan against you <clears throat> So turn from your evil ways. <clears throat> Look, more warning. Each one of you, and reform your ways and your actions. But they will reply, it is no use. We will continue with our own plans. We will, will all follow the stubbornness of our own. Oh, evil hearts why humans therefore this is what the Lord says inquire among the nations who has ever heard anything like this a most horrible thing has been done by virgin Israel does the snow of Lebanon ever vanish from its rocky slopes does no do its cool waters from distant sources no from distant sources ever stop falling no flowing the meaning of the Hebrew for this sentence is uncertain <coughs> so it doesn't change much probably just something similar oh well yet my people have forgotten me they burn incense to worthless idols which made them stumble uh, in their ways. In their ancient past, they made them walk in byways, on roads not built up. <clears throat> their land will be an object horror and of lasting scorn. All who pass by will be appalled and will shake their heads like a wind from the east. I will scatter them before their enemies. 
I will show them my back and not my face in the day of their distress and no in the day of their disaster. They said, Come let us No, come let's make plans against Jeremiah for the teaching of the law by the priest will not cease nor will counsel from the wise nor the word from the prophets so come let us attack him with our tongues and pay no attention to anything he says listen to me lord hear what my accusers are saying should good be repaid with evil yet they I uh, have dug a pit for me. Remember that I stood before you and spoke in their behalf to turn your wrath away from them. So give their children over to famine. Ha hand them over to the power of the sword. Let their wives be made childless and, widow, and widows. Let their men be put to death, their young men slain by the sword in battle. Let, us, let a cry be heard from their houses. <clears throat> Sorry. When... You suddenly bring <coughs> invaders against them, for they have dug a pit to capture me, and have hidden snares for my feet. <coughs> but you, Lord, know all their plots will kill me. Do not forgive their crimes, or blot out their sins from your sight. Let them be overthrown before you deal with them in their in the time of your anger this is what the Lord says go and buy a clay jar from a potter take long some of the elders of the people and of the priest and go out to the valley of Ben Hemen, H I N N O M, near the entrance of the pastured gate, the air proclaim the words I tell you, and say, Hear the words of the Lord, you kings of Judah and peoples of Jerusalem. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says Listen, I am going to bring a disaster on this place that will make the ears of everyone who hears of it tingle for they have forsaken me and made this place of foreign gods they have burnt incense to incense in it to gods that neither they nor their ancestors have and sisters, nor the kings of Judah ever knew, that, and they have filled this place with the blood of the innocent. <coughs> they have built the high places of Baal to burn their children in the fires uh, as offspring to Baal. Offspring as offerings to Baal, something I did not command or mention, nor did it enter my mind. So beware, Day, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer call this place Torfif, T-O-P-H-E-T-H, -E or the Valley of ben Heben, but the Valley of Slaughter. In this place I will ruin Hebrew, the Hebrew for ruin sounds like the Hebrew for jar, 
See verses 1 and 10. Okay. The plans of Judah and Jerusalem. I will make them fall by the sword before their enemies at the hands of those who want to kill them. I will give their carcasses as food to the birds and the wild animals. I will devastate the city and make it an object of horror and scorn. All who pass by will be appalled and will scoff because of all of its wounds. I will make them eat the flesh of their own, their sons and daughters, and they will eat one another's flesh, because their enemies will press the siege so hard against them to destroy them. Then break the jar while those who go with you are watching, and say to them, This is what the Lord Almighty says, I will smash this nation and this city just as this potter's jar is smashed and cannot be repaired. They will bury the dead in Tophreth, T-O-P-H-E-T-H, -E until there is no more room. This is what I will do to this place and to those who live there. Now live here, declares the Lord. I will make this city like Tofa, Tofa, the, the houses of Judah and those of the kings of Judah. No, the houses of Jerusalem and those of the king of Judah will be defiled like this place. To Tufla, Tufith, all the houses where they burned incense on the roofs, to all the starry host, and poured out drink offerings to other gods. <coughs> so, Jer so oh, no, Jeremiah then returned from Tufith, where the Lord had sent him to prophesy, and stood in the court of the Lord's temple and said to all the people, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Listen, I am going to bring on this city and all the villages around it every disaster I pronounced against them, because they were stiff-necked and would not listen to my words. <laughs>